Okay, so I have the part in the lathe. You can see that. It's pretty trued up. I mean, it's not perfect. It's hard with the rough casting, but uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of, I'm happy enough with it. We just have a high-speed steel bit in here, just one from the bin, and uh, we're gonna see if I can actually machine this part with the high-speed steel bit because last time I could not because in my other parts, if you'll remember, I couldn't. Uh, machine them with high speed bits because it was too hard and but this time I tried to put in I put in that ferrous silicon and we're going to see if that had any help in make in the machine ability so let's Way better. I think it's way better, uh, but there's still the you know the normal issue of cast iron having that skin. It's doing the tool, but I think it's just the outer skin problem of cast iron. As soon as I get to the parts that aren't had that don't have that outer skin, I don't have as much as much trouble. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to carbide for now. Switch back to carbide to make my life a little easier. Too deep of a cut. So, this hole in the middle, it's dancing around. But the, what I care about is the trueness of the outside. It shows to be relatively true. Because I'm boring out that centerpiece. The only reason I put the core was to just make it so I can remove less material. I got it cleaned up, but we got to bring it down to a quarter of an inch. And right now we are at uh, probably about a little over three eighths. So we got a decent amount to take off. It's getting a really nice finish. Damn, had to get that little inclusion, did we? Well, I left it a little over a quarter inch. All right, so I'm ten. I'm ten over. So I'm just gonna try to. I guess I'll try to get it down to quarter inch on the nose, and see if we can clean up that little inclusion right there. Uh, just about at 25. This inclusion is just gonna have to, just gonna have to stay there. Um, I think it'll be all right, but uh, yeah, it doesn't. It looks like it's just gonna get worse the more I machine off. But we're gonna see how that goes, <laughs> and uh, got a pretty nice finish. So I'm gonna machine the other side. 
Okay, we took it out. And I'm going to put it back in and make sure it is flat against the back. Alright, we flipped her over. Just make sure we're not hitting here. It's flat against the back of the truck, so this should be a coplanar with the other surface. Uh, so, let's take a couple light cuts. Just see. Oh, see, we had a little bit there. Damn, really? The same thing as the other side at the same depth? Depth? Man, if I only just didn't do that last pass, let's just check it. Yeah, that's the right size, but man, what are the odds? Really all it is, I think it'll be fine. It's just a blemish, really. Uh, I don't think it's going to have any effect on the actual ceiling with the gasket. Pretty good finish here. Alright, so now we gotta do the hard part, which is boring this out. Okay, I got this really long boring bar. I'm a little skeptical. Gotta do really long, uh, light cuts. Alright, so I'm having a really hard time boring out the middle. Um, so, what I, basically I need carbide and I don't have, the only carbide boring bars I have are ones that are too big. So, I ordered another one and I'm waiting for it and I figured I might as well machine this side. So we just have it in the four jaw like that. Um, ideally this would be a mill job but I don't have a really functioning mill at the moment. Uh, so, we're gonna cut it like this. So I'm just gonna go in slowly. Make sure I don't have high spots. I had to slow it down quite a bit. Keep breaking uh, bits. I just, um, <clears throat> I still have about 30 thousands left to go on this thickness, um, but I think I'm going to stop here. This thickness isn't critical at all. Uh, I'm going to stop here because it looks like up here, at the top of the screen, uh, I'm starting to get uncover an inclusion. This was the corner that I had to repair earlier. So I don't want to uncover that inclusion anymore. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, like I said, this this thickness is not critical at all. Uh, I might have to see if I can mill out these reliefs here to be a little bit, you know, deeper and more uniform. But I think we're done with this this uh, side. All right. So now we're gonna mark off the hole in the middle, approximately. Let's see here. It should be f around four and a quarter. Oh, we gotta put the sharpie first. So half of this length, length here, is two point one one eight.
Alright, so you see how it's not in the same spot. We're just going to like take an average, approximately. So, this is roughly two and a quarter. Alright, so we're just going to put it... See, what the middle where the lathe machining is isn't actually the middle. We're just going to put it in the uh, approximate average of all those lines. Then we're just going to drill all the way until we get to the bore. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the test to see if uh, the ferrous silicon did anything. Even though I did it incorrectly, uh, I don't know if I've said it at this point, but I forgot. I, I didn't realize you have to put the ferrous silicon in after it's already melted. You throw it into the melt and mix it in. So that's why it's been so hard to machine. Uh, because uh, it wasn't really that effective. So let's see if this will, this regular high speed drill will go through this. Remember last time it didn't. Oh, gotta plug it in. Hi! doesn't touch it. Let me get the carbide drill bit. Alright, here we go. Drawing calls for a half inch hole, but I don't have a half inch carbide drill bit. These things are damn expensive. So I'm going to leave it for now. Um, I think it'll be okay, but I can always enlarge it later on. Alright, um, I don't have a big enough carbide bit. So in these two bosses, uh, we're going to have quarter inch pipe threads for the exhaust pipes to go on. Um, I don't have a big enough tap drill that's a carbide, so I'm just going to pilot drill it with this small one and then I'll finish the other, the, the um, bigger holes later when I get it. 